do a quick question theory video for today. Um, I have been working on my Teen Titans Go scorecard currently, and as much as I don't like this show, I cannot deny that it does have a few good episodes. Now, good shows can have some duds and bad and weaker episodes than usual. Um, I see this happen a lot with Adventure Time. They can have a few duds and stuff. But, but here's the thing. Can the other way around a bad show have a good episode? Yes, it very can. Here's the thing. In my um, review scorecard for Teen Titans Go, I have listed two episodes as good. Body Adventure, which I found kind of funny, and it, it's interesting how Robin interacts with um, the items, and um, and it can um, and I also found Halloween fun, um, not really funny, but very entertaining. Um, these are more guilty pleasures for me, but here's the question: so every once in a while, a good show does have a weaker episode. I'll take Avatar's example of the Great Divide. Now, but here's the thing. A good show can get bad, and we've learned this with Spongebob. Um, so, um, why can't a bad show have some good episodes, too? And Teen Titans Go is a firm example. I kind of enjoy reviewing the episodes of it, because, um, while most episodes are bad, I don't get my expectations too high for a good episode, but occasionally I do get a good episode. Now, um, to be honest though, um, there are good shows that haven't had a bad, a dud in my book. Um, while certain episodes of Steven Universe were weaker than others, none of them were necessarily bad or even in the meh category. The lowest I think I'd give them is a 6 out of 10, which is a good episode in my book. Um, yeah. So, to answer the questions and finish this, yes, bad shows can have good episodes. 